Hi everyone again, this is I, Midwest Minis here, here with another video of painting now. Um, if you guys see my last video from last week, I built the Primaris Indominus Captain from the Indominus box. So this week, I will be painting him up. So anyway, let's continue on with the video. Alright, so, if you've seen what I was doing, um, let me show my paints out. That is because, let me rotate this around. These are all the paints I'm using for this project. Um, if you would like to know, everything, I'll just post a picture right here. Yep, so what we're going to do today, guys, I'm going to do something different for this video. I'm going to try something different for my channel in general. Um, I'm going to do small segments of a color at once, and then we'll go from there. So first we will start with the base, all the gray. Um, I don't think anything... Well, the first color we are using, we are using Storm Vermin Fur. That's a layer. That's only because I only, that's the only gray I have. And for this, I'm going to go ahead and use a... Terrible brush is what I like to call it. Like, it's on its last leg kind of thing. Let me clean this off a little bit. Sorry about that. Okay, I just need to put my snips up here. Also got myself some glue, so I will most likely be gluing him to the base. Other than easy to building him kind of thing, just snipping him together and all that, but... I'm not a huge fan of it. I don't like really easy to build for that general point, but I'll do it for the sake of my insanity. So, so what we're doing today, we're going to be basically painting this. Um, painting some of the rocks. Um, just random areas. I'll also probably use a different brush for some of it, and I will also be dry brushing some of it. Because it's supposed to be rocks. Um, so I'll be back when it's done. Alright, so I got that done. Let me focus. There we go. So now that I got that done, it's all gray, like rocks and such. I will go ahead and paint the dirt around it, which will be rhinoxide. Which will just be like a dirt color and such. But I will use a finer brush for this. My small layer brush. I think this is what, yep, it's a, actually it's a medium layer brush, but so what are we doing? I'll just putting brown on this. And that's pretty much what I'm doing for this. Get all the dirt and such on it. And I'll be right back when it's done. Alright, so now that that is done, I have noticed I have, in fact, missed a couple things on here. Um, like, I forgot that big rock, like, right there in the middle. Let me focus on that. That rock right there. I don't know if you guys can see it, but... And there's these little bullets around here, which is what the Retributor armor's for. Why are you keep on doing this? Um, there we go. And then, basically, when I'm done doing that, I will be washing all these rocks with Ajax Earthshade. And then dry brushing it with Ceramite White, which is the only reason why I put Ceramite White on this. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that real quick. I'm not a huge fan of this white, but Citadel Whites aren't the best. So, anyway... I'll be right back. I'm going to go ahead and fix some of the touch-ups that I forgot to do, and then I'll do the bullets on here, and I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. Alright, so I'm back, and I pretty much got this base all done, base coating-wise. Um, so, this is what I did. I pretty much just put Retributor Armor on all the bits of the bullets, if you see it, kind of. 
Like, some of them you can't see that good, but there's, like, four bullets on this. I feel like I forgot some more. Eh, whatever. I don't know. Don't care. Anyway, going on with the washing. So, for washing, I think I told you guys this already, but I'm using Adrax Earthshade, or Agrax, however you want to say it. I call it Adrax. But, uh, this will be going on the rock. Pretty, I'm just going to soak this whole thing in Adrax, actually. How about that? Just make that simpler. Um, so, I'm just going to be washing this whole thing in Adrax, like, with no problem. So, that washing's done. And while we are waiting on that to wash, well, the wa- whatever. While I'm waiting on that to dry, I'm just going to go ahead and just fast forward it all the way through it, so I'll be here whenever it's done drying. So, I will be right back when it's done. So, while waiting on the whatever you call it to dry, the base to dry, I'm just going to go ahead and do some of the base coating on this bad boy right here. Um, the armor will be silver, since if you guys haven't remembered in the last video, I talked about how I'm playing silver Templar, so I'm just going to base coat this big guy in just lead belcher, all the lead belcher. I don't have any lead belcher spray. The shop that I go to don't have any lead belcher spray. Well, I asked if they could order something. Like, um, they can, it's just... Because of the stuff going in the United Kingdom right now, it is kind of hard to get this stuff in. So, like I know there's some of uh, the stuff that comes from in the United States and such, but my local hobby store's, like, rep is out of United Kingdom, so he gets all of his product out of United Kingdom. So, it should, it's whatever. But anyway, what I'm doing, I'm going to be grabbing my lead belcher. I'm basically going to be priming this whole guy in Lead Belcher. Come on. There we go. Looks like I might have to get me some more Lead Belcher. I, yeah, I'm going to have to get myself some more Lead Belcher, but this should be good for this video. I don't need a lot of it. If I had a wet palette, it would be different. Like, I made one, but it took a crap on me. But So what I'm doing, I'm just going to Lead Belcher everything. Like this. And I'll be back to you guys when I'm done with this whole body. Oh, I didn't even realize it wasn't focused. I'm sorry about that. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to lead belt. Oh my gosh. There we go. I'm just going to lead belcher this whole guy. And then, when I'm done, I'm going to wash him. And then I'm going to... No, I'm not going to highlight yet. I'm, I'm not even going to wash him yet. What am I thinking? Oh my gosh. Focus, focus, focus. Why is it not focusing properly? But, anyway, I'll be right back when this is done. Alright, so now that I got all these stuff painted and based, um, they're silver. <laughs> Really, really silver. Like, look at them. This is going to be the silver Templar scheme. Like, it's not going to be perfect, but... So that I don't have every color for that scheme. But, anyway, back to the base. Uh, where's that white? I'm going to dry brush it and I'm done with it. Good old chunky paint. Good old chunky paint. Where's my brush at? Don't know where my brush went. That's lovely. Oh, here it is.
So, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna dry brush this. It ain't gonna be hard. So, I'll be. Is this still wet? No, it's not wet. It looks wet a little bit, but it's not gloss. Oh no! At least it never spilled, because it's chunk. So, anyway. Oh my goodness. I need to get myself a new tripod. Or something that's not in the way when I paint. So. So I'll be right back when he is done. Well, not done, but with this part. And then I'll continue on with the other. Alright, so, now that that right there is done dry brushing, I don't have to dry brush anymore for the rest of the video. You can look at it, you can kind of see where I dry brushed it at. I did on like the creases and such. Gave it a little bit of texture, that's what the whole point was. But and Then, this little Necron, right here, is supposed to go on top of this. It is. But, anyway, let's continue on. So for my next thing, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and paint one of the uh, knee pads black, and I'm going to go ahead and paint the chest plate a little bit black. People did the, I think, the yellow first, but only because it's a black and it's a yellow, and yellow and black do not mix for some odd reason, but it don't. Because I wonder how bumblebees are a thing. So. First, I will be doing the chest play. I'll just be extra careful. Yep. I'm not going to do every single bit. I'm going to do this one also black. And I think that's really what I'm going to do with this for the black part. And I'll see you guys when I'm done painting this. Alright, so before I go any further with this model, I'm going to go ahead and wash them with Nuln Oil. Because I will be doing yellow next. So I'd rather it being washed than besides missing, mixing shades together. So that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and put Nuln Oil on them. And I'm also going to probably put them on the base so it's easier for me to hold them. And, uh, instead of just holding him with my hand, and I don't like doing that. So... Anyway, I'll be right back. I'll he'll be back when he's non oiled. So I got him washed. Yep, just got him washed. So now I'm gonna go ahead and do the yellow part. But while I'm waiting on it to dry, I'll also paint it after in the next segment so I will be right back once again also forgot to say that I was going to do the ball blisters of gold for the sigil in the middle so so far this is what I got done uh, I need a little bit of touch up on the yellow though because well, on the black because I accidentally went over so that won't be too hard to fix but I'm also going to Reichlin flesh shade it just to make this a lot easier I'm going to Reichlin flesh shade the um, sigil and then I don't know what I'm going to do after that probably just that I don't know what I'm going to do with the Fire Dragon Bright. I thought about putting it over this, but I'm like, eh. This is like my really only yellow, so I'm just using Averlin Sunset. So. Anyway, I'll be right back when all that is done. Alright, I'm back. So, I'm going to go and end this video right now, guys. Um, but I will tell you what I was going to do. Like, I'm sorry, I couldn't. Like, I'm terrible at editing. But I tried my best. So, what I was going to do... I was going to wash this Necron right here, Nuln Oil, and use some of the Tesseract Glow on the eyes and on the Sigil in the middle. For this, I was just going to Nuln Oil it and then put, like, probably Gahanna's Gold in the middle of it where the um, skull is. And then I was going to do Retributor's Gold at the top with some highlighted with Gahanna's Gold. Um, the shield, the outer edges, I was going to use it um, just a normal Mephiston Red. With an inside version of it with Ushapti Bone. 
No, not Ushapti. Um, what was I going to use? Black. I was just going to use black, Abaddon black for the middle, because my favorite colors are red and black. Um, and for the purity seals and the little ribbons and such, I was just going to use Andrew Dust, then wash it with Adrax Earthshade, and then um, highlight it with Ushapti. Um, purity seals as normal. Um, Mephist in red, washed with um, Reckland Fuss Shade, and then layered over with Evil Sun Scarlet. That's how I usually do it. For the every single skull on here, like normal skulls, like the skeleton on here. Let me do that. Hold on. There we go. I was just going to do the Ushapti Bone, and then Adrax Earth Shade over it, because that's how I usually do them. I know a lot of people you just use, like... Skeleton hoard or something. I don't know. I don't use that. And for the the where we call it around it, I was just gonna do the same exact thing as the this. I, I keep forgetting what it's called. I think it's a Rosarius. I don't know. I play this army, guys. I just play Silver Templars. Um, for the pauldrons, I was gonna do the outer rim black with the inside of it yellow. I don't have any of the transfer sheets for them. They don't have any transfer sheets since they are a what do you call that? Um. A white dwarf chapter. Um, that I was just gonna do both scissors gold. That was about it, with the black and the gold and all the goody stuff on it. But I was probably gonna do the pauldron different. I was gonna do the gold, like a henna's gold on the outside. Actually, I think I'll just do both scissors gold. No, retributor's gold look good. Retributor's gold on the pauldron, on the rim of the pauldron, and then do yellow in the middle. That sounds pretty cool. And then the power sword. I will tell you what the power sword will look like at the end of the video. I am 100% unsure what I need to do. But also, I did a terrible job of painting that. So, I'm going to have to go back and rebase coat that. If you guys can see, that's terrible looking. But, really, for him, for the, um... Hold on, let me get this. Come on, you can do it. There we go. I just washed him, if you can tell. For the cloak... What was I do the cloak in? Oh, I was just going to use Ushapti Bone or Xandri Dust. Um, then, if I was going to do, yeah, Ushapti Bone with a Reichlin Flesh Shade in between the crevices. So it makes it look like it's a nice shade or just use Ajax Earth Shade. It really depends on which one I think about. But you guys see that in the end of the video. Um, the belts, all brown. The buckles, silver. Or Ruin Fang Steel, which will be the highlight of this model. Um, the gun, black handle, buckles, I think this buckle will be gold, um, uh, since he is technically how I'm making him our chapter master, um, Achilleo Sonaris, I don't know if, it, if I say that right, correct me if I'm wrong, since I just started this army, like, I just started playing Silver Templars about since we're doing a crusade. I'm trying it out um, at our local hobby shop. So I'm getting technically slaughtered in this crusade. But yeah, I might show you guys what like a battle report or something in the future. But anyway, guys, I'm going to go and call it here. Um, if you enjoyed this video or have any tips, I will go ahead and show you guys pictures of what he looks like when he's done. Um, so. I'm sorry guys if this if you guys wanted to see me paint the whole video. I need a better tripod, so I do. I if you guys remember I was talking about I need to get a new tripod and such. I'm like I didn't get a new tripod. <laughs> so it's annoying. So I'm getting an arm basically kind of thing for my desk so I can have better videos looking and all that and do better pictures and just all around good. It's not expensive. It's like 15 bucks for it. So I, w I just couldn't find it online. I went on Amazon. I'm like, oh, okay. It's like a robotic arm kind of thing. It's pretty cool looking. I'll show you guys what it looks like when I'm done at the end of the video for the um, this boy. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe. If you enjoyed, please comment, like, share, and share to your friends and such. If you guys wanted to show, hey, this is what a Silver Templar looks like, feel free. I have no problem with it. Oh, yeah. I was also going to show you what I was going to do here. I almost forgot before I go. This, 
I was gonna do like a coat of arms kind of thing where I'd like red on one, well, yellow on one side and black on the other. Nothing real special. I was gonna grab some masking tape and put on it, but I'll show you guys that when I'm done. So anyway, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. I'll see you guys back in the next video. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Well, it's not another video, it's just an update on this model. Um, I have finally finished it. So, this is what the color scheme I was going for, guys. If you guys can see it, kind of. Um, it isn't 100%. But I literally just finished him, like, five minutes ago. So, I painted this guy three days ago in the last update video of this model. And I finished it on, wow, it took me a bit. Um, I don't have any of the transfers, so just going to have to accept that. In the future, I will most likely. So if you see him with a transfer on him, he has a transfer. So. I put the X-33 on there because technically he's part of the 13th company of the Ultramarines. He was beforehand, so I'm assuming that was one of the shoulder pads. He just changed and put the ribbon on it for the schematics, or thematics, I'm sorry. Um, I painted the sword with just a layer brush, and I put some blue on it. Make it like, oh, it's a power sword. But And then the Necron. Everything is glued, by the way, in case you were curious. I glued everything whenever I was done with it. He is very shiny. And he is layered, if you guys can see that as well. I don't know if you guys can on the camera, but I can definitely see it. You can see some of it on the, um, like, down here and such. I layered him. It's probably a decently big layer. Um, I layered this somewhat. Like, Kind of. You'll still see some white spots here and there, but if you see, like, little the white spots on, like, these little bolts, that is, um... That was Rune Fang Steel, if you see that. So don't worry about that. Um, but yeah, he is done. To a point where I just don't want to paint him anymore. Um, so anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Um, let's do a picture montage.